Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to show and hide a password just like this. Alright, let's get started. So typically when you create an input field of type password, it's because you're submitting a form onto the server. So let's go ahead and create a form. This action here is going to be the name of your route. I'm going to type in login. Of course, that's not an actual route they're going to be creating. I'm just adding that so you can see which you would have to type in there. And you also have to indicate what kind of method this is. Usually this is going to be of type post because you're going to be submitting a password. All right, let's also give this an ID name of login form so we can access it with CSS and make it look a little bit nicer. All right, now let's add our input field. Uh, it's going to give us of type text, but we want to change it to type password. So when we type into it, we can't see the password. Let's also give this an ID name of password and also a name of password and a placeholder as well. And this is also going to say password so the user knows to enter a password there. All right, now let's add a checkbox and some text that says show password. And we're going to store this inside of a div. Now let's create the input and this is going to be of type checkbox. Let's also give this an ID of show password. And now let's create a label for our input. This is going to say show password as well, and this as well. All right, now let's get access to our login form. And we don't really need this, but what I want to do here is use Flexbox. So I'm going to use display flex, flex direction column. And I just did that so I can use gap here of 10 pixels. That way my input field is not so close to this here. All right, now moving on to the actual input fields. Now I only wanna get access to the input fields within my login form. And let's get access to the password one. We can copy this. And this is gonna be for text. All right, all I wanna do in here is just add some padding, maybe get a, bit of, a little bit of width here and remove the outline. And none of this is really necessary. This is just to make it look a little bit nicer than just having the default settings. All right, now let's get access to this input field and also to this checkbox here. Now let's start with the checkbox. So we're gonna start in this variable show password let's get access to it with document query selector and we gave that an id name of show password all right now let's get access to the input field itself that is holding the password so let's change this to password field and this has an id name of password now we're going to add an event listener to the checkbox so when you click it you're able to see the password so let's do show password, add event listener, and this is a click event. Now let's create a function. And in here, we're gonna check if this is of type password. If it is, then we're gonna switch it to type text so we can see the password. And if it is of type text, then we're gonna switch it back to type password. All right, so let's store the result in this variable type and let's use password field, get, attribute we're going to type in type in here and we're going to see if it's equal to password which initially it is and if it is then we're going to change it to text but if it's equal to something other than password which in this case is going to be text then we're going to switch it back to password and now that we have that we can use password field again and we can do set attribute and type and then include the variable in here. All right, so now when we type something in here and click this, we see the password, and when we click it again, it hides it. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful, and if this does not work for you for whatever reason, then feel free to hit the thumbs down, and also a comment, let me know what happened, I might be able to point you in the right direction. That's it for me, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.